So football season is in full effect. And over the last couple of years, I've been live streaming and video recording my nephew's football games because I do a lot more live streaming than I do photography. But during the course of loading up all the gear to do video live streams, taking pictures is a lot easier because there's less equipment that I have to take with me and less overall setup time. So I'm gonna go through my camera bag for photography in this video and show you what I have in my bag and let's first start with the bag itself now so that i don't butcher the name of any item that doesn't have a very popular name i'm just going to link in the video description and the first link in this video uh, comment section so you guys can check out everything if you're interested but this particular bag a couple reasons that i like this bag uh, first off it's not the first bag i've ever had for photography this is definitely the upgrade to a bag I had before. This bag has a hard backing on it. And so that is one of the main things that I want to do is protect my gear, protect my equipment. So having the hard back is one of the things that I really like on this bag. Now around the outside of the bag, before we go into the specifics inside, um, there's a couple pockets here. So there's one little pocket here and I'm gonna have some accessories. I'm gonna show you guys where where I put them and why I use some of these pockets. You have another pocket here and this is for like a drink. I'll typically keep a water bottle with me uh, in that pocket. And as I was setting up for this video, one of the things that I didn't know this, this bag had was another little pocket back here on the back side. So it's a nice long pocket to put some extra accessories in here if you need to. Uh, this book bag feels really comfortable. I like it. Um, it's held up. I've had this for few months now uh, but I really like this bag so of course need a bag for your gear and this is the one that I'm using right now for my photography let's take a look at the inside of the bag here starting on the top here we have two uh, places to put extra things I'm gonna grab some cables here and some batteries and we'll put those here in this section in a minute and then you have the bag itself where you can recompartmentalize this how you wish. It has the Velcro so that you can move things around, make sure they fit in there nice and tight and snug so nothing's moving all around. Uh, so it's really beneficial to have a bag that allows me to do that, especially if you're carrying multiple bodies and multiple lenses. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that will go in this bag before we get over here to the good stuff that I know you guys want to really see. So I've gathered up some of the accessories that I keep in my camera bag right here. So let's go through them one by one. First here is a microphone that I use for my camera. This is the Sony microphone. There's actually a newer version of this microphone and I do have that as well. I just haven't had a chance to take it out the box yet. But having this microphone allows me to put it directly on my camera. And because the Sony camera has the digital hot shoe, I don't need any cable. So using the digital electronic shoe here audio comes right in from the microphone uh, this camera does have the audio input if i did want to use a different type of microphone like the one i'm using to record this video so i do have that option as well i am a sony fan you'll see that here as we go through more of the gear but this microphone is something that i keep with me and on occasion i do take these microphones that i'm using as well this is the hollyland uh, system and I typically do take this and put it in my camera bag as well but I'm using it to record this video so it's not on camera right now so that's what I have for audio um, also have an audio cable because I do video as well do live streaming as well typically I'll take this camera bag when I take my video gear so a couple things I keep are just an audio cable this is a uh, extension cable so if I need headphones to be a little bit longer, I do take that. I do take a little pair of headphones. These are just older Apple headphones uh, that are all tangled up as you can see, but I do keep headphones with me and typically I'll keep my headphones right here in this smaller compartment section. Now we actually do have a game this weekend. We actually have homecoming this weekend. So I'm going to actually pack this bag up because we are going to pack it up and take it to homecoming and i'm going to do a follow-up video on this so make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to see the pictures and the behind the scenes of how i do that as well 
Uh, let's take a look at this essential piece of gear, a uh, little uh, blower for your lenses. So I'll take this and make sure that my lenses are clear. Just blow air into it, clean it off before game time. Because we do shoot a lot outside, you know, there's a good chance for dust to get inside. So make sure the lens is clean so we're not having to do stuff in post and try to clean off little specks that could have been prevented early on. So I do have this, and I'll typically keep this toward the bottom of my bag. Uh, we also have a hard drive. Now, again, this is more because I live stream events and have a video switcher with me sometimes. So this is 500 gig hard drive that I can keep with me. Um, on occasion, I'll take my laptop with me and can plug it right in. We also have a little adapter. Now this is a USB to lightning. I am an iPhone user. So if I need to transfer files physically, then I'll make sure that I have a little adapter with me. Put that in the little side compartment here. A remote. Now this camera can be used by a remote and I have it with me, so it's easy. Now I don't really use this for photography because I also use this camera to live stream and record some YouTube comment when I'm sitting at the other station. It's just a lot easier to take the remote and hit start and stop and keep on going. So slide that in there. Don't laugh, but I carry lotion with me. My hands get dry quick and outside with the changing weather right now going to the fall of the year. I keep lotion with me all the time. And now because I found that new compartment here, I definitely will keep the lotion here just in case that bottle accidentally squeezes because I don't want it to get on the actual equipment. So now I have a better place to keep my lotion. Uh, also keep an extra HDMI cable. Now, definitely not sound like a photography thing because it isn't. Again, I, there's been so many times where I've needed an HDMI cable for video quickly and just having one in this bag has been like more than beneficial. So I'll keep this in the bigger compartment here. And my microphone typically goes here at the top. And a couple other things I have here are batteries. So this camera does come with a battery that is probably sitting on the other side of the room right now that we'll grab here in a second. But I do have an extra battery that I keep with me and the charger itself. So if I do need to charge it up, I have that easily available. Now, when I do video work, I do carry my uh, backup power unit. So I will plug in stuff here. If I know I'm gonna be at a place for a long time, I like to keep my phone charged, keep my, my batteries charged, keep all my gear charged. And, the parents, you know, they like it too because they can plug up their devices and capture their kids on their mobile devices as well. So not a requirement, but something that I just carry with me every so often. Um, now let's get into the camera and the bodies itself that I take with me. This is the Alpha. This is the top dog in the Sony world, in my opinion, the Sony Alpha 1. And it is perfect for sports photography, 30 frames per second. This thing is a beast. Now on the camera itself, I do have these Peak Design uh, straps here because I do like to make sure that I have this camera with me, uh, attached to me. So I'll have the strap itself and I like the Peak Design, just saw other YouTubers with it and it easily clips onto the camera itself. And then if I want to put it around my neck, I can put it around my neck this way. Now, typically what I do is I'll use the third um, adapter, if you will, and I'll put that onto the bottom of the camera because of the way it'll lay across your neck. It's just more comfortable for me to pick it up and shoot. And then if I ever want a little bit more uh, flexibility in my movements, I can take it off the strap and just get right into the shot. So I'll take it off that one and I'll typically use this setup and go across my body like so. And that way it's just a little bit easier to grab the camera and go. And then with the lens sitting on it, it just feels a lot more comfortable using this setup. Now I'll typically take it off again because I do use this camera inside and um, if I want to mount it on a tripod, this has to go. 
Now let's talk uh, straps. I do have a hand strap that I use. Now, if you followed me uh, with the last video that was about B&H Bill Conference in New York City, I use the hand strap to put this around my hand here and then attach this to the camera body itself. And that way it just had uh, the camera in my hand the whole time and then have to wait uh, didn't have to worry about it falling out of my hand, you know, hands getting sweaty, getting tired. You know, I did have that extra level of support with using this wrist strap. So this is coming handy for those longer days where you really can't put your camera back in your bag and you want to keep it with you close by. Um, now, a couple things that we do have here are the lenses. Oh, can't forget that one. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is chapstick. Uh, again, the weather change, chapstick. This is, cannot forget the chapstick, cannot forget the lotion. So let's go ahead, make sure that we have this in the bag as well and ready to go. All right, let's get over to what you guys really wanna see. Um, I love top of the line gear. Now you don't need the top of the line gear, but there is a lot of different reasons to have better gear, uh, different situations. Gear just makes things a little bit easier. And what I've gone with is the Sony 70 to 200, which is my main lens when I'm shooting football. And I also use the 2X converter. Now, what I like about the 70 to 200 F2, this is version 2G Master is that I can get those low light games. I actually had the F4 version and it, it works good, but the F2 is just that much better. Now in daytime games, I like to have a little bit of extra reach. So I do go with the 2X converter. Now it, I can't shoot an F2.8. I end up shooting an F, uh, I believe 5.6, but in daytime, it's fine. Like it's, I don't see why people make such a big deal over quality or, you know, losing that stop of light. Like the pictures turn out phenomenal and you'll see it in the next video. Cause I'm going to go between the two X and using the 2.8 by itself as well. Uh, because different situations call for where I can be on the field, where I can't be on the field, or if I'm too lazy to move around the field. Uh, so it, it, it comes in really handy with, to have this teleconverter to shoot those distances at a little bit further away, opposite sidelines to get a little bit closer. So this 70 to 200 will stay on the camera the majority of the time. More recently here, picked up the brand new uh, 24 to 70 G Master uh, version two. Now this is a homecoming game for two of my nephews. So I'm gonna be getting a lot of pictures and was asked to take pictures of the introductions with the family. So depending on the situation, I'll probably jump over to the 24 to 70 to get those pictures in, in that format. But uh, depending on the time and the setup, if I have to leave the 70 to 200 on there, it will still look great because last year when I shot it with the 70 to 200 F4, the pictures turned out phenomenal. Uh, but the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200, along with the teleconverter and the A1, will go into this bag as well. And that is what's in my camera bag for this upcoming uh, sports football season. Had a, had a chance to take the 70 to 200 out to a few games already this year. Um, and it's it's been really nice to shoot with. Have not had a chance to take the 24 to 70 to shoot with. So I'm excited to see what we get with those, uh, with that particular lens. Go ahead and make sure everything is in here nice and tight. And we will make sure that we grab our extra battery as well. Cause the last thing we wanna do is get out there and only have one battery. Uh, shooting at such high frame rates, uh, I do use the H plus a lot more than I should. Uh, so I probably just use H because I don't need all 30 frames per second, but it is nice to hear that, that shutter sound go off on this camera. So that's what's in my camera bag. Uh, pack all of this up nice and tight. And in the bag it goes. And that is my setup for the 2023 fall season. Now it's time to go off to the game and I look forward to seeing you guys in this next video and showing you the behind the scenes of the action that we covered and just how I do photography when it comes to local sports. See you guys in the next video.